Hello YouTube, welcome to Cars, Wheeling and Technology. This is Will. Hey, if you're new to the channel and you like what we're doing, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Got a lot of cool things going on. We're going to be trying to do several videos every week, so I appreciate your support. What I'm doing today is totally, totally an experiment. I keep seeing everyone doing these videos about jalapeno poppers. And, you know, some people do it with, you know, different types of meat and the cream cheese. So today we're going to do jalapeno poppers. Um, so I've got 12 peppers that I'm going to cut in half and then core out. Then I've got some Jimmy Dean hot sausage that I'm going to mix in with some cream cheese, stuff these, and then wrap them with bacon. When I say this is an experiment, this is totally an experiment because I have never had one of these before. So I just see everybody doing videos and they look like they would be really cool and they would be really good. Um, so I said, what the heck, we'll go ahead and give it a try. Um, the ingredients are pretty simple. I've just got the bacon, the jalapenos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish coring out the rest of these and then come back right before I put the filling in and wrap them in bacon and then we'll get these babies going. So stay tuned. So I'm back. Uh, I might have already made my first mistake, but like I said, we've never done this before, so we're gonna roll with it. But um, I saw a video where somebody said with peppers cut in half, a half a slice of bacon would be enough. And it doesn't look like a half a slice, a half a slice is really gonna wrap around these. So I'm gonna use full slices until I run out. And then we'll just play it by there. Probably just use two of the half slices I cut or whatever. But we're going to go ahead and get these stuffed and then wrapped in bacon. Uh, basically, you know, this is the consistency. I'm just going to put a little bit of it in here. And, you know, everybody says you don't want to overfill these. So we're going to put some in here, wrap it in bacon. And then I'll show you what these look like right before I put them on the grill. So we're back. Um, these are definitely not going to win any culinary awards for their beauty, but I did get them wrapped. Um, for not doing it before, you know, by the time I got to the end, I was getting the hang of it. I bought 12 peppers. Like I said, I've never done this before. And it seems like I always err on having too much than too little. But that ended up being 24 um, poppers that we're going to be doing um, and a half a slice of bacon did in fact work once I got the hang of it and started to stretch the bacon out a little bit then I was able to wrap it around at least one really good solid time um, everything should hold up pretty well I'm hoping so I'm doing another video and I got to go rearrange some stuff on the Yoder YS 1500 so I'm going to do that and then we're going to throw these on. Stay tuned. So I'm at the Yoder YS1500. And these are prepped and ready to go on the grill. I've been running the grill at about 225 degrees. Ideally, these should be cooked at a little bit higher of a temperature. But as I said before, you know, now that I'm getting a little more comfortable doing videos, not super comfortable, but a little bit more, I'm trying to be fancy and I'm doing two videos at the same time. So I've also got some ribs on here for a separate video that these will be getting wrapped in a short time. But we're going to go ahead and throw these poppers on here now and then check back on the poppers in about an hour and a half. Now, yeah, probably about an hour. So stay tuned. channel so this is the finished result I don't know how well you can see these but we ended up being able to make 24 of them because we had 12 peppers and then we cut them in half um, doing this the first time uh, a couple of things that I would do differently next time is with the ground beef or the, the sausage I would have made the pieces smaller because that would have been easier to stuff the peppers with and I probably could have left these on maybe another five or ten minutes for the bacon to get a little crispier. I'm going to go ahead and give one of these a try. 
Got some water here just in case because these are probably going to be pretty spicy. Let me take a bite and see what we have here. Wow. I would say that's really good. The thing I like about it is you got kind of four different flavors going on. You got the jalapeno pepper, you got the cream cheese, you got the sausage, and you got the bacon. I'm going to tell you the truth though. These are spicy. These are hot, which is what I like. So if you want them to be a little milder, you can pull more of the seeds and the veins out of the jalapenos. But for the way we like stuff here, this is just right. But these are really good for an appetizer, even if you have a snack. Uh, like I said, I had them on for about an hour and a half after I stuffed them. They do take a long time and there is a little bit of prep work that goes into it. But man, I'm going to tell you, these are good and they're worth it if you had the patience to do it. So, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the channel. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe. See, we got a lot of other videos coming out. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.